As it said in the thumbnail, today I'm going to be making a bench for my friend's gym. And I've got the this, probably one of the best pallets I've ever come across, which was actually left behind in the gym, God knows what from. But it's got three 2x4s and they're about three metres long and half a sheet of this chipboard on there. I'm going to use everything on here. I'm going to use the chipboard and I'm going to use the 2x4s to help me make this bench. And I've got a piece of 18 millimetre plywood over there as well, which is an off cut. That's going to be the top but you'll see as we go along how I'm going to incorporate all this into it. These are all planed up, got all the rounded edges off, took quite a long while actually, uh, filled a full bag up. I'm going to cut these out 360 millimetres long, I'm using my stop block here which doesn't come up close enough for short things so I need to put a little extension in which I'm doing there. And then when we add the top on as well that's quite thick, it's going to be quite a tall bench but I want that because I want to put probably one a minimum of one shoe racks in there as well for all the uh, students before they go onto the mat, they need to take the shoes off. So I'll get cutting these components now and then I think what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, bridle joints and half lap joints. Here we go, six legs. I'm just going to do the adjoining pieces. I now need to make three of these A-frames and we're going to use half lap joints. I was going to do a bridle joint at the top here, but with this only being 35mm, the tenon would have been really small. So we're just going to go for half lap joints. We're going to do these on a combination of the mitre saw and the table saw. I have done a video on exactly how to do these where I go in more detail and the three methods, table saw, mitre saw and by hand. So I'll put a link to that video in the description, but I'll get on with marking these out now and then cutting them. We've got all these pieces of pine, some of them aren't too bad, but a lot of it is sun damaged, some's got some cracks in it, and uh, all different sizes. So what we're going to do is, we're going to mill all this up now, well we're going to run it through the thickness there, clean it all up a little bit. It's about 21 mil, so we're going to take it down to 18 mil, and then we can use this for the framework in between the legs. Because uh, there weren't quite enough in the 2x4s for everything that we needed, so uh, this ain't really going to get used for much else. 
so we might as well put it to some good use and once it's cleaned up I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, now what we're going to do is, uh, these, piece, these pieces here are going to be the trim for around the top where the seat is where we laminated the chipboard and the plywood just to get rid of that ugly edge. Uh, also it will just give it add a bit of protection and it will look nice with it being pang. But before we do that we're just going to rip these down to size, these pieces we'll call them the rails because they run across the top like that and the middle there. So we'll have a shelf on this one for shoes to go on and this one here will just support the, well it'll attach all the frames and it will support the seating area. And what I'm going to do is, we've got a clean edge on one side already, we're going to cut these pieces which are the rails to the same size as the tenons and that way everything will be nice and uniform. Oh dear. Yes, that and I should be brushing with this one, doesn't matter. You just blabber it on and then rub it off, do you know what I mean? So if I wipe all this off, then it'll be right. Yeah, yeah. Nice to relax, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's alright. Yeah, I've got a fair few pocket holes in it. <laughs> Sorry if it's a bit echoey, but I've just delivered it to the gym. Is the bench all complete? Uh, Sam, the my fellow coach, uh, really likes it, so I'm happy with that. All the customers that have been coming in say they, they, they like it. Great for the parents to sit on while they're watching the kids do martial arts. 
I'll take a few photos now, some close-ups. I didn't show you the CNC work that we did on it because uh, that's a little bit boring, but I did use the the smart bench from Trend, which is a great piece of kit. Uh, well, Jacob did that. He said he did a nice bit of sign writing on the top and on the front here where to put the shoes. So thank you for Trend for letting us use that. It's a, like I say, it's a, a, a smashing piece of kit. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, just bang them in the comments. I'll leave any links in the description below for other videos and tools and consumables and my website and things like that. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do that through Patreon and channel membership. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you on the next one.